First here, breaking at three, a woman is free after being kidnapped and held captive in a home. This is Wink News at three. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabe. Now, the accused kidnapper is this man, Jordan Garrett. Now, KPD says that he repeatedly abused and sexually assaulted the victim for days on end. Let's go ahead and bring in our Wink News anchor, Annette Montgomery here. Uh, she joins us live from Cape Coral Police Department. Annette, how did the woman escape from her captor? Nicole and Russ, according to Cape Police Department, Garrett came up with an elaborate lie to tell police after he experienced alcohol poisoning and was vomiting. He told that victim to call police and say she fell off a horse. But once KPD came to the home, that victim mouthed, help me, to one of the officers. And that's how police were able to discover the victim was actually being held by captive by Garrett and beaten and sexually assaulted over the course of four days. Police didn't say how the victim and suspect knew each other, but did say it appeared things were consensual until they weren't. Mercedes Mercedes Phillips with the department said the victim had bruises all over her body in different healing stages, indicating she had been abused over the course of several days. She also said the day police discovered the victim and suspect wasn't the first time the victim tried to contact law enforcement. So she'd called 911 several days before trying to say, I want to order a pizza, and then the phone was immediately disconnected. Officers went to the house. They knocked on the door for as long as they could. They didn't hear anything. They didn't see anything, so no contact was made. Ann Phillips went on to say that day that the victim stated Garrett was actually holding her down as that happened and making sure she wasn't making any noise or answering the door. Now, police did say this investigation is still ongoing and they're trying to piece together this piece of the puzzle. But they, I did go to the neighborhood where this happened and I spoke with neighbors and we'll have what they have to say all new on Wink News at 5. Live from Cape Coral Police Department, Annette Montgomery, Wink News.